Okay, now for question number six from the June 2020, June, sorry, October 2020, Pure Mathematics B2 International A-Level Edexcel paper from Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Now here we have a graph of two, well, two graphs of two curves here. Um, it says that figure one shows a sketch of part of the curve C1 and C2. So you have C1 and C2 with equations for C1, y equals x cubed minus 6x plus 9. So this is part of a cubic curve. There's only shown a part of it there. And C2 is y equals minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 1. And that's a quadratic curve, which is shown here, uh, C2. Um, the curve C1 and C2 intersect at the points A and B as shown in figure 1. So those are the points where they intersect. And we have to find um, the coordinates of the point B. It says the point A has coordinates 1, 4. So they told us that the coordinates of this point A is 1, 4, and we have to find the coordinates of this point uh, B. Okay, so now, basically point A and point B are where these two graphs intersect. If you want to, draw, if you want to find where two uh, lines or graphs or functions intersect, we have to basically solve those two equations simultaneously. So what we're going to do here is we're going to replace the y in one of the equations by what y equals in the other equation so we end up with just having one variable. So what I can do is I can replace this y over here with x cubed minus 6x plus 9. So I'm going to have x cubed minus 6x plus 9 is equal to and then I'll have minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 1. And if I rearrange this equation to make it say equal 0 I'm going to have x cubed plus uh, 2x squared minus 6x minus 7x is minus 13x and 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 10 equals 0. So I have to solve this equation. Now what I know is that there are two solutions to this equation uh, that we see here. Two solutions are A and B. One of those solutions um, there, there might well be another solution as well. There probably will be if this turns again. Okay, but the two solutions that we can see are A and B. So there are, there, there are the solutions to this e in this equation here include A and B. There might be more. We, we can s obviously we'll be able to see if there's more. But A and B are definitely solutions to this equation. So what we're going to do is I know that the point A has coordinates one four. So one of the solutions to this equation is x equals one. Okay, that's one solution to this equation. And you can confirm that if you replace the x with 1, you're going to have 1 plus 2, which is 3, minus 13, which is minus 10, plus 10, which is 0. So that causes that to become 0. So we know for sure x equals 1 is a solution because they told us x equals 1 is one of the points where um, you know the two curves intersect. That means x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, is a factor. x equals 1 is a solution. That means, let me just write that a bit neater. So therefore, we can say x minus 1 is a factor. x minus 1 is a factor. OK, so if I know x minus 1 is a factor, I can solve this equation, or I can find the other factors by using algebraic long division, or by even using um, inspection. OK, I'll show you both ways just to illustrate how it's done. So let's start with algebraic long division. So we're going to have x minus 1 into, now you've got x cubed, x squared, x and constant, everything's there. So I can just carry on, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 13x plus 10. If anything was missing, like if there was no x term here, for example, I'd have to put plus 0x just to keep everything in the right place. Now I can uh, say, how many times does x go into x cubed, well, x squared times, then I multiply x squared with these two terms, gives me x cubed minus x squared. And then I'm going to subtract these two. When I subtract those, I get 0, and 2x squared minus minus, which is plus. So 2x squared plus x squared is 3x squared, and I bring down the next term, which is minus 13x. 3x squared into x goes 3x times. x times 3x gives me 3x squared. Then I multiply I get 3x squared minus 3x, then I can subtract from here. I'm going to have minus 13x plus 3, which is 10x. 
minus 10x, sorry. Bring down the plus 10. Minus 10x goes into x, or 10, uh, x goes into minus 10x minus 10 times. x times minus 10 is minus 10x. Minus 10 times x is minus 10x. And minus 10 times minus 1 is plus 10, so we can see for sure that is another factor. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 10 is another factor. So I can say that you got x minus 1 times x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Um, and then if I can factorize this any further, I'm going to have two terms. One is positive, one is negative. Um, two numbers multiplied to give me 10. And I had to give me 5, it's going to be 5 and 2. So our solutions are x equals 1, which we already know, x equals minus 5, and x equals 2. Okay, so we know that um, this point for sure is where x equals 2. Now we've got to find the y value of this point. Okay, to find the y value of this point, we can use any of these two equations. Um, so to find the y value, we can use C3, for example, you've got x cubed, we got y equals, got y equals um, x cubed minus 6x plus 9, which is going to be 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 plus 9, which gives me, that's going to be 8 minus 12, which is minus 4, minus 4 plus 9, which is 5. So that means the coordinate of the point B is going to be um, 2 and 5. There's a third point as well where they intersect, because um, one of them is cubic, which is, as I, as I kind of guess, would be down here somewhere, minus 5, because this probably turns down again, and they will meet somewhere down here um, when x is minus 5. Okay, but we don't really worry about that one, because we're only asked to find the coordinates of point B. And we know that for sure that must be a positive value, so it has to be the x equals 2. It can't be the minus 5. Okay, so those are the two point, those are the two points where they intersect. We use the fact that x minus 1 is a factor to find the other factor. Now, there's another way of us dealing with this, and I'll do this up here to show you. Um, I could have done the following. I'll just show you up here. I know that um, basically you have to end up with x cubed plus 2x squared minus 13x plus 10, and I, I know one of the factors is x minus 1, and the other factor is going to be a quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c. So you could do something like this. You could say, let's compare, compare the x cubed terms. The x cubed term on this side is going to be a. The only term that will give you x cubed is when you do x times ax squared. On this term, there's only one x cubed term, which is um, 1. Okay, so a is equal to 1. So I know that for sure that I'm going to have x squared. And then if I, com if I compare, for example, the constants, the constant terms, I have a minus 1 times c, which is a minus c on this side. The constant term here is, is 10. So I know that c is equal to minus 10. So I know for sure I'm going to have a minus 10 at the end. And then I can compare the x terms. If I call, or let's compare the, we could do x squared or x terms. Let's compare the x squared terms. If I compare the x squared terms, on this side, the x squared term is going to be when I do x times b, which will be bx squared. And when I do minus 1 times ax squared, which is minus ax squared, so b minus a on this side. And on this side, the x squared term is 2. And I already know a is 1. So I can say b minus 1 equals 2. So b is equal to minus 3. So I can say that the b is minus 3. So I've got minus 3x. And then I can continue. Once I've got that, it's exactly the same as this x squared plus 3x, oh sorry, this is plus 3, what am I talking about? Sorry about that, because I have to add 1 to both sides, I get plus 3, x squared plus 3x minus 10, sorry about that, that's a silly mistake there, but you see that you get the same thing, and then from there you can then factorize this as normal. So there's two ways of, of uh, factorizing this further, one is by, once, once you know one thing, something is a factor, you can then use that to uh, you do long long division, algebraic long division to find the other factor, and then factorize it further to give you the you know the three factors. And here you could also do by what's called recognition. You know you know x minus one is for sure a factor, and then you can just um, set up this like um, comparing coefficients of x cubed, constants, x squareds to find what a, b, and c are. So there's different ways you can deal with 
finding the values of a b and c um okay so that's basically that question done and now part now for part b okay so we got a equals one b equals two so this is one and this is two so then it says the finite region r shown shaded in figure one is bounded by c1 and c2 it says use algebraic integration to find the exact area of r so we've got to find the area that's bounded between these two curves from the points where they intersect so it's going to be between here and here okay so that's one and two it's not very straight okay so you have between that point and that point there okay so now what we need to do here is to use integration so in order to to do what we have to do here we have to integrate between the limits of one and two okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see which is the which is the uh, graph which is above the other graph in the region R so I get the right sign in my answer it doesn't really matter that much if you end up with a negative but if you look at the the graph which is above the other and you write that first so I know C2 is above C1 the C2 is above C1 in this region R so if I write C2 first so I'm gonna have minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 1 minus and then I'm going to take away from it the 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 function okay um that's underneath it okay because if i subtract these two from each other what i'll get will be um, an expression which if i integrate it, it will give me the area between those two curves so i subtract them and the area between them will be the, the integral of that will be the area between them so i take away from it x cubed minus 6x plus 9 and all of that i integrate with respect to x that will give me the region the area of the region r Okay, so now let's simplify that. That's going to be minus 2x squared. Um, it will just be minus 2x squared. I'll have minus 2x squared. And I have um, plus 7x. In fact, let me just do it in order so it's easier. I'm going to have minus x cubed. There's no other x cubed terms. And minus 2x squared. There's no other x squared terms. Um, that's right, I have 7x minus minus 6x, which is plus 13x. And I have minus 1 minus 9, which is minus 10. I integrate that with respect to x between 1 and 2. So now I have to integrate. So I'm going to have minus x cubed over 3. I'll just write out the steps. Um, minus 2x cubed. Sorry. What am I talking about? To add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. Minus x to the power 4 over 4 minus 2x cubed over 3 plus 13x squared over 2 adding 1 to the power dividing by the new power minus 10x the constant just gets the x added to it and you got 2 and your 1 at the end here and now I can I don't think I can simplify any of them no I'll just substitute the values in now I'm going to put 2 in there and then 1 in there so I have minus 2 to the power 4 which is 16 over 4 minus 2 times 8 over 3 plus 13 times 4 over 2 minus 10 times 2 which is 20 minus don't forget the bracket because there's a minus here I'm gonna have minus a quarter uh, minus 2 thirds plus 13 over 2 minus 10 okay so now I can just work out what that is that's gonna give me that's gonna be 16 over 4 which is 4 so minus 4 that's going to be minus 16 over 3 and that's going to be 13 times 2 which is plus 26 minus 20 I'll have plus a quarter plus two-thirds um, plus or minus 13 over 2 minus 13 over 2 and plus 10 okay so we can now simplify all of this I could just use my calculator if I wanted to. I have uh, 26 minus 20, which is 6, minus 4, which is 2, plus 10, which is 12. So that's this, 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 and this sorted out. I've got minus 16 over 3, plus 2 over 3, which is minus 14 over 3, minus 14 over 3. And I have a quarter, minus 26 over 4, 
that's going to give me minus 25 over 4 and then I can just add these together so I'll have 12 minus 14 over 3 minus 25 over over 4 and that gives me 13 over 12 does it say find the exact area okay so I can leave it as 13 over 12 I can that's I think that's going to give me a, if I do this yeah so it's best to leave it as 13 over 12 so you can say 13 over 12 if you want you can say 1 and 1 12th units squared you don't want to round it leave it in that form and that's your answer the exact area of the region R which is the area bounded between these two curves so to find the area bounded between two curves you can subtract the two equations always better to put the equation that's above the other one um, um, first when you subtract them that's all okay so there we have the answer to that question uh, other questions that are to do with integration um, from P2 you can find in this playlist over here other questions from this paper the June 2020 June, October 2020 paper can be found over here in this link. You can subscribe to my channel from this link here. And on the top of the page, you can find a link to another P P2 paper you might be interested in watching. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.